So in today's episode of History for Dogs, we're here in Blindheim. Blindheim is a very small farming community in the middle of nowhere in some part of Bavaria, but it's actually very famous for one reason. 313 years ago, on this very day, August 13th, a huge battle between multiple coalitions of armies was fought here in the surrounding what is today farm territory. In German it's called the Schlacht von Höchstädt and in English has an entirely different name. It's called the Battle of Blenheim. What's meant by Blenheim is actually this little tiny village of Blindheim. The reason it's called Blenheim in English is because French reconnaissance soldiers didn't quite know how to get the pronunciation in German right, so they turned Blindheim into Blenheim. And uh, Blenheim has stuck in English uh, to this day. In England, just outside of Oxford, is a beautiful palace, one of the most noble stately manor houses. It's called Blenheim Palace. It's named after the battle that was fought here, where John Churchill, a distant relative of Winston Churchill, led the coalition of troops of the English, the Dutch, and the, uh, the Imperial Austrian armies against mostly the French and the Bavarians. Blenheim Palace is called that because it was built for him initially by Queen Anne as a reward for his victory over the French and the, the Bavarians here. The battle itself was about 50,000 soldiers on one side against 55 on the other side. The uh, Bavarian elector Max Manuel had allied with the French a mistake that cost him his job. Um, after he lost this battle here, he went into exile. He was banned from the Holy Roman Empire. The war for Spanish succession eventually ended when the British basically got tired of fighting. Two peace treaties were signed that partitioned the Spanish territories. The country that probably profited the most was Great Britain. It said that uh, this war marked the beginning of Britain's rise as a major global power in terms of trade and naval power. And thus ends today's episode number one of European history for dogs.